cleared out some Gen 1s for Randolph's safe house. Randolph is still operational? <sighs> Finally, some good news. We thought they were another casualty of the switchboard disaster. But Randolph's been dark for too long. It'll be controversial, but we have to put them under quarantine. The whole thing smells like a trap. It very well could be. The Institute has had more than enough time to replace them with synth infiltrators. So, we play it slow and safe, and I'll have other agents verify they're our people. Our only communication with Randolph is going to be by dead drop. Check in periodically with Drummer Boy. He coordinates the dead drops for us. Thanks. Nice. How's it going? Hey there. Hey, Alzheimer. Nice to finally meet you. Do you have a Geiger counter? Funny, mine's in the shop. My name's Peter. I'm Deacon's son. I've heard a lot about you. Do you have a minute? Sounds like I have a stalker. Yeah, well, we're the railroad. Spying is what we do. Anyway, I have a project I need help with. I think it'll be fun, but it's too dangerous for me to do alone. I asked my dad for help, but he's usually out doing spy stuff. Maybe you can help me. Depends. I need more details. There's a group of children of Adam that moved into the Commonwealth recently. The railroad got some intel on this group. They sound scary. It seems like these Adam crazies got frustrated because folks in the Commonwealth weren't adopting their religion. They started killing people who refused to worship Adam. Rumor says they call themselves the Sword of Adam. Intel tells us they moved into an unfinished vault near the crater of Adam, and they've been trying to get their hands on a nuclear stockpile. Apparently, they think that they can achieve salvation by blowing up the Commonwealth. Dealing with these wackos should be top priority, but everyone in the railroad is so focused on synths. No one's done anything about it. Don't get me wrong, I'm all for helping synths, but more importantly, I don't want to get blown up by religious fanatics. So what do you think? Will you check out the secret vault and see if there's a way to stop these nut jobs? Absolutely. I'm in. Cool, here's the location. Can I come with you? Just how old are you? I'm eight, but don't let that fool you. My mom died when I was little, and as far back as I can remember, I've grown up in this war zone. My dad isn't around much lately, so I spend most of my time reading about spycraft and training with weapons. Lori says I'm getting pretty good with a pistol. I know it's hard to believe that I can protect myself. Even killed my first death claw a few months back. I promise I'll stay behind you. And besides, you might need my help navigating. So can I come with you? I have some things to do first. Oh man, all right. Well, I'll be here waiting for you. Good luck out there. Any words of wisdom?
What are you thinking about? Hey there. I do hope my darling Rusty reciprocates my love. something for you. What is it? A love letter? And this photo? Uh, oh, oh my. This woman from the vault is in love with me? I can't believe it. It's like a dream come true. But what should I do? I've never been with a woman before. What should I do? You just love her. And that's it? You just... love her? You know what? You're right. As soon as my shift is over, I'm going to the vault to see her. Tell her I accept her love. Thank you. Play the numbers. Got a game just about to start. Sure. Let's do it. All right. I'll take your hundred caps. Here's your number. Come back in a week or so when I've done the draw. Good luck. Bingo. I got the job done. That's marvelous news. I can't wait to hold my little Rusty in my arms. Why, hello again. What can I do for you today? Tell me more about this vault. It's marvelous. Much better than the world out there, I'm sure. Down here we never need to worry about radiation, mutants, or raiders. I don't need anything. Shame. You know where I am if you need me. <clears throat> you ready to get back on the road? You sure you want to travel with me? You've paid the money. I'll travel with you if you want. I'd like to travel together some more. Alright then. Let's get going. Are you going to make me carry all your junk? Don't think I don't see you pick it up. Thank 
Excuse me. What can I do you for? I need to ask you something. What can I do for you? I wanted to ask you about something else. What did you have in mind? Got any work? Of course. What do you need help with? I grabbed a bounty poster on the road back there. Here, I'll mark the location on your map. Hey, 